Look at that big, strong back of this mech. It's time to put the team on our shoulders and do some carry work. Hi, friends. I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Mech Engineering today with the Atlas RS. I told you guys last time, as a hint, we're going to be using an Atlas for something that it's normally not getting used for, and this is going to be a long range duelist atlas this thing destroys targets at long range and if you get close to it well you're still gonna get destroyed because this thing has quite a bit of firepower and some very cool and unique features let's jump into the loadout screen light engine 340 is going to be the basis of this mech for 55 kph you can already see this thing goes a lot slower than your run of the mill a uh, lot lot slower a lot faster than your run of the mill inner sphere assault mech and there's a couple of cool things going on here. Number one, we've got AMS on the left arm and one ton of ammo. We've got a Gauss rifle in the right torso. We've got three and a half tons of ammo for that thing. We've got two ER large lasers in each arm. And we've got an inner sphere targeting computer Mark 8. Mark 8, the thickest one I could find in the left torso. No extra cooling, that is it. Endo steel structure, double heat sinks, standard armor. Firepower, 51. Doesn't sound like much, but here's the kicker, guys. Look at those ranges. Ooh. Optimal range, about 920 meters with the ER largest. And the Gauss rifle, about 920 as well. See what's going on there? That's optimal range. You can hit targets and do some serious damage over time at 1,500 meters. No problem. Now, let's look at, the, look at the armor. Let's say somebody trades back at you. 186 center torso. 132 side torso, 90 on the arms, and then you get to the structure. So this thing is insanely tanky, you can trade at extreme range really, really nicely. So this is going to be a fun mech to play. Let's have a quick look at the crooks. These are always, always important. If you guys skip through the builds, and I recommend you don't do that, always make sure you catch the part about the crooks because these can be very, very important. 10% LG cooldown, 10% energy range, 10% heat. 10% energy heat, so 20% heat on our lasers, 10% laser duration, and large laser, ER large laser, all lasers, heat scale limit plus one, in this case, ER large laser heat scale limit plus one, so if we can alpha strike this without ghost heat. Zero ghost heat. Aha. This thing is really nice. It does comparable damage to something like the uh, dual gauss EPPC combination of some mechs, for example, but... It does it, uh, of course, a little bit more over time because you've got the ER large lasers, but you have the added advantage that those lasers are hit scan weapons. They don't travel, so it's a lot easier to hit the target and do damage with those ER large lasers. Now then, let's jump onto the skill tree. Well, what are we taking? Well, we're taking range, of course. We're taking heat gen. We're taking velocity. We're taking magazine capacity and gauss charge, of course. We're taking laser duration. Very important here. Full armor, full scale density, of course. Torso speed. I've got AMS Overload 1 and 2. If you remember, I almost forgot that in the last video. Then we have Improved Gyros. You can take it, you don't have to, but I found out that it really helps against the cockpit shake from all these obnoxious little damage sources that basically do no damage to you, but still shake your cockpit as if you are on a rumble seat. So it uh, doesn't hurt to take that if you have the points to do so. And since we don't need it in cool or heat containment, I think we should be fine here. I take seismic against those pesky light ambushes. I've got two points in radio deprivation right here. I've got double kusha with kusha cooldown. And most importantly, advanced zoom if you want to reach and shoot at those ranges. Now, of course, you could go for more radio deprivation. Um, I would just re remove the uh, improved gyros, then put that into extra radio derp, and you should be golden. Speaking about golden, this mech is not golden. This mech is right now a whitish slash chromish color because I think it just it just looks sexy, especially if there's a little bit of lighting on the map that changes the color of your mech. Guys, if you enjoy this content, if you would like to support me in doing so and support me in doing so further, then check out the join button right here on YouTube. Check out the uh, super thanks button in the YouTube comments or the various other options, for example, Patreon over in the video description. The next mech is going to bring a whole lot of DECA in a very boxy shape. Let's see who gets uh, that one. Guys, enjoy this beautiful Atlas RS and try it out. Don't just watch these videos, guys. Try these builds and let me know how they work for you. If you come up with a better version of these builds and something that works better for you, let me know in the comments as well. Enjoy the Atlas.
All right, um, how much speed do we have? 55 kph. We have guys pushing on the left. So I should be able to do this and hopefully not die horribly, but I might be wrong. We will, I guess we'll find out. Let's try if we can try to cover our guys in 5 here a little bit, but if they're pushing hard, we're just gonna get overrun. But, what the heck? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Here we go. Straight in the dick. Cody Ganyla to Echo 5, Echo 4. I also got an Atlas. And a King Crab, I think. Nope, I lied. Why is he so fast? Jesus. They might be moving to Fox Tot 4, be careful. Yeah, center is clear so far. The uh, Echo 4, Echo 5 area is clear Fox, as well. Fox line there. Yeah. Um, I can't hit this guy. Is there a wall there or something? See, the thing is now, what do I do? Do I stay here or do I move to Foxtrot line? Because I know I can do a lot of damage from Foxtrot line, but it might be too late. Ah, fuck it, we're doing it. We're moving. Okay. We're going where I wanted to go in the beginning. Foxtrot pushes oh, from this side is really good. Fox line push. Mm. They're holding the Fox line. Okay. This could be... I'm alone here. That sucks, though. <sighs> yeah, this might be a huge mistake what I'm doing here. This is a, probably a huge mistake. We're alone, and they might the enemy team might just get pushed towards me with this with this push that our guys are doing right now. Which, which is exactly what I think it's happening right now. We don't have ECM. So if I don't play this correctly with my timing, looking at the radar, I will just get overrun. I'm pushing them in Fox 5 from behind now. Okay, we're gonna come and uh, support you by pushing from Echo 4. Guys, let's turn around if you're in Echo 4. Damn it. Make That's sure fast. Make sure they up our ammo. That was a nice hit on him. What the hell? Zip. That target's not friendly. Guys, there's a stealth enemy Atlas over there. In Fox 5 is marked. The target Atlas is not friendly. Okay, we got one. Oh, I lost my back. There we go, we got two. I need help though. Stormcrow, huh? That's something else from the Atlas, I think. Let's fall back a little bit. With that one. Ooh, Shadowcat. Please don't move. Good job. Fuck. Why'd you have to move? Oh, yes. Oh, come on! <laughs> Almost had him. Yeah, should I get you? Should run now. Wow, okay. They're pushing Fox 5 to Fox 4. Okay, alright. Keep a very eye over here. Oh, I'm gonna fight for Echo 5, guys. Try to help you. Get away from the ledge if you can. Just let the in. We got a blood ass Echo 5 low ground. He's turned to me right now. You can shoot him in the back. City one touch. Nice. No. I'm looking at the ramp now. Catapult below. Side toss is open. Nice. Okay. There's two lights and a medium in the fox side still. I think we're gonna need help against Fox those, those guys, Fox 5. The city on the stone crow is one touch. What are you doing, dude? Go away. I said, go away. Great job. He's Great dead. Job. Anybody got that Atlas? Slash Kodiak? 
Yeah, both are dead. Okay. We're a quarter of the way there. Keep it up. We're missing something. It's a shadow cat. Oh, okay. He might be Delta Four, Delta Five. Yeah, it looks like uh, Delta Five is up on top of those buildings over there. Okay. The blue fire on him. Ah, I saw him. So he's got large pulses or something. Halfway there. Yeah, he's got two large pulses. Uh, from Delta 5 question mark? Yeah, he's still over there. He just okay. hopped up over one of the, the silos. We almost have it. Hold on for just a little longer. Uh, we're probably gonna win this if he doesn't hit us in the middle. No, oh, he's in the circle. Delta 4. Yoink. And yoink. I knew he was going to do, to do that. That's why we shot him. Look. There is no escape, look. There is only Zool. Did you guess? Woof! But that is a successful test of this mech. On the they completely ignored me. I, I was behind them in, in full sight, just badumch, Atlas, but eh? Apparently, you don't even need ECM these days anymore. <laughs> Five killing blows, three solo kills, three KMDs, a thousand damage done, 200 taken, 14 components destroyed, and no missiles coming my way at all. 624 match score. Good match. GG. Alternatively, we could just stay here and shoot from here, but the problem with that is it's just out in the open. Mitos! Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the channel members. Uh, that alert was an old alert from, from Streamlabs that I never configured. Now I know what that does. <laughs> Enjoy the little skull icon next to your nickname, it. It's also gonna show up on any YouTube comments, by the way. Can we see anything? Any movement whatsoever? You guys want to see a secret that I've done on, on the Twitch live streams that you haven't shown on YouTube yet? Like one of the reasons you should go to the Twitch live streams is because we're using evil and underhanded tactics sometimes and I'm gonna show you one of those evil and underhanded tactics now. <laughs> there is the rotato potato, I love it. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna take me a little bit to get there, but uh, it could be glorious. So far, no contact whatsoever on the enemy side, so I'm guessing they're right now, right here. And what we'll be doing is, um, we're going up top the mountainside, but not in the way that you might think you normally do. And if you can see my movement path, you can think about what's gonna happen. I think you already know what's gonna happen. I mean, aside from me getting rushed by a piranha and dying in five seconds, but that's a different story. Okay, this looks good. Let's have a look. Ha! Huh. Well, how about that, huh? Hello! Yeah! Oh, I love it. Hashtag live evil. The positioning from hell. Yes! Hello! Oh, you got ear ladders as well? Let's do this. I got more than you, buddy. Oh, he saw me. Oh, you felt that one, did you? Hey, the only thing that I'm worried about right now is that I've got too many dudes shooting at me. And my team is currently out of position to fight. So you gotta be a little bit careful. Where's this guy? Can't even see him. Okay. Go back. And Gauss. That's a good shot. And lasers. And ghosts. And cool shot and lasers. This is funny, right? I mean if you're that Atlas pilot right now, you're you're really pissed at that asshole sniper that's just sitting on top. Um yeah, there's a light map coming for me. And there's his component gone. He still wants some apparently. Okay, I hit the wall. That's not good. Oh, 
How's the other guy? Another Atlas. Yink. Ah, oh, I missed him. Straight up the ass. We're Ruby. Some That's Don't our Ruby. He's still shooting at me. Oh, wow. that guy is tenacious. That's a life make it. I'm gonna be doing this, buddy. Let's go for a CT. Okay. Uh -oh. He's one shot. We've lost half our force. We can't lose any more soldiers. Ow. Twenty five percent of the enemies are eliminated. Oh, fuck, I need to move. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's such as a one shot. Got him. That Ruby's not looking so hot either. A rift. The enemies are half depleted. Keep pushing. Hey, yeah, yeah. Is he still farming me? We need you to pull through. Yeah, he's still farming me. Just have a mech here. Oh, I grilled myself. I got out of bounded. No. Rip. Rip. I didn't see it. Oh. Uh, that, that enemy team. I want to say got saved by the out of bounds. Not playing it as a sound. But I want to say that they will still have one, I think. So we did some good showing of ourselves. We did a good showing off ourselves. Like the match, the match was definitely, definitely lost. But uh, that position, it's evil. That's what I'm saying, guys. Go watch the Twitch live streams. You're missing out, guys. Four kills, one solo kill, two KDDs, a thousand damage done, four fifty taken, and uh, ten components destroyed. Five forty-two match score. GG.